little oh. squeeze. You let me know when. Yes. A lot of times patients and families will say to me, the tone of your voice is so soothing, we trust you, and it's almost as if you were made to be a hospice nurse. And I do truly believe that. This is my calling. I've been a nurse for 16 years. I've worked in assisted living, in nursing homes, corrections, substance abuse, group homes. And I've been a hospice and palliative care nurse for about two years now. But this is the only setting that I've worked in where I've walked out of cases and say, what's my destiny? Not everyone can do hospice. <laughs> Nancy, how has mom been eating lately? She's really lost the ability to feed herself. Okay. And she has good days and bad days. When Diane comes to visit, I think it lifts up my mother's spirits. She really is very engaging with my mother. Everything okay? Are we full of fire? We are full of fire. This is my mom, and this is not what you'd want to see any happen to anybody. So on an emotional level, I, it can be hard. When I started hospice, I had one idea of hospice. I know that hospice is a program for the terminally ill, and eventually they will die. But if you asked me to define that now, after the experiences I've had with hospice and palliative care, then I would tell anyone that it is a program that helps the terminally ill live. The good thing is, is that she's comfortable. She doesn't have any pain. She has a little difficulty articulating, but you know, she seems happy. Entering a home for the first time feels strange. You don't know the patient, the patient doesn't know you. You kind of don't understand or don't know what experiences they've been through before they've gotten to you. And it's not until you develop that rapport with them and that they're trusting that they kind of let you guide them. Most patients will tell you it's the fear of unknown. I know I'm going to die. I don't know how I'm going to die. I don't know what's going to happen from here, what's going to happen to me, what's going to happen to my family after my death. We just let them know we're here on the journey. If you have symptoms, we can help you manage those. If you have familial issues, we can hold family meetings and try to address those issues. So let's continue to move on. Uh, 65. And the purpose of this meeting is for all the disciplines to get together. So that's LPNs and RNs, social work, our spiritual care counselor, along with our team manager and the oversight of our team doctor. And we collaborate on each and every patient. It's no no. opioids. She's no. no. She's very strongly against mm -hmm. that. Diane is uh, one of our strongest nurses on the team. She's able to really understand and meet a patient where they are and meet a family member where they are and then take it from there and really get them to, you know, open up to her. With hospice and palliative care, you treat the whole family. It's almost as if you become one of their family members. Sure, I'll take a piece, absolutely. Pat contacted me yesterday, said you were not feeling well. It's a lot of abdominal pain. It was Yesterday was very, very nauseous. Okay. Um, but now I have a sore throat. Yeah. It's been a, a struggle, uh, you know, for five years now. She's throwing up a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort. It's just like every day it's something new. The cancer just grew so much, and it's just it's getting harder and harder. As long as I know that she's comfortable, then I'm comfortable. And she's comfortable with Diane. She's very comfortable with Diane. I'd do anything for her. It's my girl. It definitely is an emotional roller coaster, and we're all here for that ride. My patients, I always tell them, you are my hero, and to be there with them through all of that, and then to finally see them decline and to lose them, that is definitely the hardest part of this job. I try to help the patient understand that every day that you open your eyes is a new day to start all over. So what? There's no other treatment left, but you're not dead. You know, there's still more life to live. You know, you'll have good days, you'll have bad days, 
and it'll get to the point where you'll have more bad days than good days. And no matter what happened yesterday, how bad of a day you had yesterday, today is a new day. Cherish your days, you know, make memories for your family members that are left behind and enjoy the rest of the time that you have. And I'll say most of our patients do.